I'm going to show you how to use the different buttons on the Galaxy S5 to get around and use your phone a little bit better and faster. Josh Smith with GotToBeMobile.com and the Galaxy S5 has a physical home button that you can touch once and that will take you to your home screen. If you're in an app, it will take you back to your home screen or just bring you to that main screen. If you hold that button, you get access to Google Now. If you double tap, you get access to S Voice, which provides Siri-like features. Now you have a back button that you can use if you're on a web page. You can hit back and it will take you sometimes back one page or home. Various things will happen if you press that. Now if you press and hold this, when you have multi-window mode enabled, it will bring up this small bar over here that allows you to use multi-window mode. And you can close that by holding that down. You'll notice it disappears. On this side, we have a multitasking button. So we can see our different apps if I don't want to use one. I can swipe and close it. I also have access to some different settings information down here. I can see my active applications. And if I want to go to settings, either in an app or on my home screen, I just hold down the multitasking button. So when I hold that down, I'm now on the settings for my home screen. If I go into something like Chrome, you can hold this down and I'll get some different settings. It's the same as if I were to press this button up here, the three dots, but I can use this button down here. You have volume and power buttons that operate just as you would expect. You can head over to gotabemobile.com and check out more about the Samsung Galaxy S5. If you're looking to upgrade from the Galaxy S3 to the Galaxy S5, here are the things you need to know. Hey everyone, this is Josh Smith with GottaBeMobile.com. We're taking a look at the Galaxy S3 from about 2012 and the Galaxy S5, which just arrived here in early 2014. These phones are both from Samsung. They kind of mark a departure for Samsung from the real plastic to a, a nicer feeling soft touch material. We have a 4.8 inch display compared to a 5.1 inch display. And even though the display is larger, the actual phone itself is not much larger, which is nice. It's a little bit thicker and there's a reason for that. The Galaxy S5 is water resistant. So that means it will survive 30 minutes in about three meters of water there's an O-ring here, and there is a small cover here on the USB area. But with it like this, I can drop it in water, and it will survive. You're not going to go swimming with this, and it's not going to survive at the bottom of a lake, but it's heck of a lot better than this phone without a case on. Now, you can get a case for the Galaxy S3 and for other smartphones, like this life-proof one. And what that does, though, is it adds some bulk to the phone. Now it's only going to be a little bit thinner if we snap it in there, but these cases will allow you to be more waterproof uh, or water resistant so you can do a little bit more. There is a fingerprint reader built into this home button and the button to the left now with one touch will open up multitasking and if you long press it will get you your settings, kind of like this one goes straight to settings. There's also faster access to Google Now. You can hold that, or you can simply say, OK, Google, 
okay, Google. And it's going to open that up right there without you actually touching the phone. Now, on the back of the phone, we have this real hard plastic that is something that Samsung has moved away from. We have a soft touch, uh, dimpled design. It almost kind of looks like the really small dimples that you'd find on a golf ball versus just this real smooth plastic, and this feels a lot better. On the back, we have an 8 megapixel camera on the Galaxy S3 and a 16 megapixel camera over here. With this, we're going to be able to take sharper photos. It's going to focus a lot faster. That's something Samsung has worked on. Uh, it's been a, a problem for a lot of Android phones, that real quick focus so you don't miss a shot. Um, and if you go to Gotta Be Mobile, we'll have a camera comparison between these two devices. This flash here is dual LED, so we're going to be able to get a mixture of colors for a better looking photo versus one color uh, that's going to flash just about the same. And there's a pulse tracker, so I can hold my finger over here. I can open up the S Health app which Samsung has for some of their other phones, but I can actually track my pulse, track my calories, uh, all kinds of stuff like that. And that's a pretty quick look at these two devices. This one, the Galaxy S3, you might find for free on some carriers. Uh, you're gonna have a better bet in most cases looking for a deal on the Galaxy S4 if you wanna save some money, or going for the Galaxy S5 which is buy one, get one on some deals. And we've already seen this as low as $99 on a contract. And I'll tell you what, spending the extra hundred, even $200, you're gonna get a much better phone. And if you look around, you're gonna find deals. Go to gotabemobile.com, we have a list of deals where you can already save nearly $30, $40 on contract on the Galaxy S5. Thanks for watching.